Well, about the time uh, 7.40, well, the Chancellor George Osborne is in uh, hot water with some people this morning anyway. Yeah, he's being photographed getting into a car parked in a disabled bay. Well, Nick Dixon is at the service station in South Wales where it happened. Now, Nick, the Chancellor, it seems, had stopped off for a burger. Good morning, Kate. Yes, that's right. He just fancied a snack. He was travelling back uh, from Cardiff and got to these services and decided to jump out of the car and nip into the McDonald's just around the corner there. Now, at that point, when he went into the car, the driver of the vehicle, which we believe was an unmarked police car, reversed into one of the disabled bays here. A few minutes later, when Mr Osborne came out of the McDonald's with the food, he said at that point he didn't realise that the driver had parked into a disabled bay. Now, the Treasury has said that it doesn't condone the driver's decision to park here. Witnesses who were here at the time said that they saw the car and it didn't seem to be in a hurry to move, or indeed was the car park particularly busy, meaning there were obviously other spaces that they could have parked in. So, on that basis, do we have any sympathy for the situation that Mr Osborne is in? I don't agree with it at all. I don't think it's fair that he's able to park there when the, the spaces are there for a reason, for the people that need them spaces. So, no, I don't think it's fair that he, he was parked there, to be honest. If you're an able-bodied person, you shouldn't be parking in a disabled parking area. That's what it is designed for, for people with disabilities. Well, Louise James is outside uh, number 11 Downing Street. Uh, Louise, uh, some pressure on George Osborne this morning, then. Well, yes, some rather unappetising reading for the Chancellor over his breakfast this morning. In other circumstances, you might think that the Chancellor being photographed having a McDonald's, just like the rest of us, might actually be rather good for his image. But in this case, it couldn't really get much worse. And it's the timing of it that makes it particularly bad, coming in the same week that the Chancellor's controversial welfare reform kicked in. And he's already on the front page of some of the papers this morning for his controversial comments over Mick Philpott uh, linking that case uh, to the uh, ongoing benefits row. It's not the first time that uh, Osborne's been caught out. It was uh, only six months ago that he was caught in a first-class carriage with a standard-class ticket. Uh, all of these uh, stupid mistakes, you might argue, but ones that aren't going to get him much sympathy. Louisa, thanks very much Thank indeed. Well, Some really... sympathy from people here, though, yeah. um, already getting views in saying that actually, you know, it's the driver's fault, Lorraine from Glasgow says, uh, not George Osborne's. He should be, you know, given licence for that. He probably didn't even notice where the driver was parked. Um, and now that John's saying he should be charged with this, if anyone yeah. does this in private car parks or in disabled bays on the street, they get a fine. MPs are meant to be pillars of the community. This is no way to get respect. Yeah, I, Joe McClure, I don't think it's a mistake. I think it shows arrogance and inconsideration. Uh, of, of a user group. Uh, he should be charged with this, uh, Sir John, and so they go on. We're well, joined by disability campaigner Jane Young alongside uh, the Mirror's Alison uh, uh, Phillips. The Mirror broke this story this morning, Alison. Uh, yeah, some people are saying, yes, this is outrageous, it's inconsiderate, it's insens insensitive. Yeah. On the other hand, it was his driver who parked there. He was dropped off outside the McDonald's, apparently. He wasn't aware of what the driver was doing, at, at least initially. Well, yeah, that's what he's saying, um, but what we can see that he's doing in the pictures in the mirror this morning is he's actually getting quite slowly, with no hurry, into a car which is parked in a disabled bay. And also, he's the boss. He is the boss. He has to take responsibility for his actions, just as he has to take responsibility for his actions in his role in cutting welfare benefits. What's your view? Well, I think it's a very unfortunate mistake for George Osborne to make at this particular time. On Monday, uh, they start rolling out personal independence payment to replace disability living allowance, and that will cast, cut 20%, they hope, off the bill for that benefit. Uh, it was almost as soon as they got into power, one of the first things he announced was cutting 20% off dis disability living allowance. Um, so I just think that uh, using this bay does maybe just tell us something of the contempt, I guess, in which the Chancellor holds us as disabled people. I suppose at the very least it shows that maybe he doesn't understand the importance of that. It's, it's, it's somebody what it all represents. It, it, you could say, yeah, well, he was only there a couple of minutes and, you know, it was just a little frippery, what does it matter? But it's what it represents. And if you don't care about the little things in life, you don't care about the big things, which is stripping away people's there, benefits. Actually, if he was there eating a McDonald's burger inside, you know, I'm not, I don't know who's to blame, but it would appear that it was the driver's decision to go there. It would appear that way.
It would have well. That's what they're telling us at the moment. But also, but, but there's been no apology. There's been no talk about whether the driver was admonished for for doing this. Mm -hmm. And there's just a sort of a general. It's never his fault. Just as not that long ago, a couple of months ago, he was sitting in a first class carriage without the correct ticket. Again, that wasn't entirely his fault apparently. And it was his aides who said, "Well, he can't possibly expect to travel." Human, though, aren't they? We can't expect them to be perfect. They're followed by cameras they're, every minute of the they day. They are they're human, and we all make mistakes. Scrutiny. We all do silly things all the time. But there's some things you just don't do. And parking in a disabled bay is one of them. One well, last word with you, Jenny, because uh, he also uh, yesterday sort of linked the the Mick Philpot case uh, uh, to to benefits, saying that you know, it was. An illustration of the need to to look at the benefits in the welfare system what was your response to that I think it is absolutely despicable of the Chancellor to link Mick Philpott to benefit claimants uh, Mick Philpott was a, a criminal um, a woman abuser and all he wanted was to get things for himself by criminal means if necessary he did avail absolutely himself for 60,000 pounds of the benefits so in the process which is equivalent to a, a wage of 100,000 pounds a year Yes, but a lot of people get benefits for the children they have. Most of them don't go burning houses down. Most of them don't abuse their um, partners. And so I think to link uh, a criminal with clearly, you know, abusive and violent tendencies to benefits that people need to survive for one reason or another is just... It's political opportunism of its very, very yeah. worst kind. And Mick Philpott, this is one of the worst cases we've had in this country in years, and that's how, how much of an extreme case it is. That, that cannot be used as a stick to beat all people on benefits. We've got to leave it there. It's certainly a talking point. Thank you very much indeed for giving us the benefit of your opinions on it. Thank you. Thank you.